Your husband owns a clinic that offers secure homosexuality for up to $10,000 a year. So when you, Representative Bachman, refused to acknowledge the bullying of gay students in your district, this must have been strictly business. When another gay teenager commits suicide in Minnesota, you consider this free advertising. You buy a necklace for every hanging, a bottle of Merlot for each overdose. Your husband sends thank you cards to their funeral. Hand signed, all referrals welcomed. How could we expect you to take a stand against bullying when it helps pay for your mortgage, when it puts food in your children's belly? One day, your youngest daughter will ask you why her school supplies feel like they belong to someone else. Her pencils write names that are not hers. Samantha, Nick, Aaron, Kevin, tell her the truth, Michelle, that blood money is not a metaphor, that your wallet is heavy with those who have untied themselves. Tell your daughter that God is the bully with the biggest fist, and you can only hope he is on your side.